In this episode of Note Tactics, we'll take a look at how I use Google Keep on my iPad Pro. Google Keep is a free application from Google that allows you to create notes, checklists, and even share those notes with family and friends. In other words, the people that you kind of like a little bit, but you have to because, you know, laws. Let's go ahead and jump in it. Now, before we get started, I also did a video like this for people who have a Samsung Galaxy Note because whatever you do on one version of Google Keep syncs automatically to another version. So what is Google Keep? Keep is a free combo platter of note-taking, checklists, and tasks. It's available on Android, iOS, and the web. You can even share your notes with other people who can edit those notes, which also sync across all platforms. As a writer and illustrator, I have ideas popping in and out of my brain 24 hours a day. So I use Keep to jot down every new idea so I don't forget it. I'll go ahead and launch Google Keep. And as you can see, it's populated with drawings, notes, checklists, and lots of pictures of ingredients for cooking. So let me go ahead and explain the idea of why you might want to use an application such as Google Keep. Each one of us every single day has a ton on our minds. Some of those things are important, and most of them really aren't, although we think they are. It's way better to just get them out of your brain so that you can focus on the important stuff. So you brain dump those things into an application like Keep. So that, let's say there's a movie you want to watch or a book you might want to read. Instead of remembering that, just throw it in here so that when you go to the bookstore, you can quickly pull up that list. One of the things that Google Keep comes in handy for me is when a client calls me on the phone. Let's say I'm at a restaurant with my wife and they want me to do an icon for them or a logo or a mascot. It's easy for me to go into the app, tap the pen icon, tap the brush or pen, choose a color, and I can start to scribble or draw right away. So let's say they want me to do a sun. I'll go ahead and just... Do something like this. I know, award-winning. And when I'm done, I can go ahead and hit the arrow. I can then give it a title. Return. Add some notes if I want to. And when all is said and done, hit the arrow to leave, and there's my son. Now, let's talk about how we can create checklists. So what I'm going to do is show you a checklist that I have here. I create checklists when I'm doing something that's important and that I want to repeat. So for recording videos, I'm going to follow the same steps each time I make a video for the most part. So I'm going to have things in this checklist that I can check off as I work. So I can tap the, the items that I complete and you'll notice that they move to the bottom of this little panel. And what I like about this is when I'm ready to record the next video, I just do the reverse. And those items repopulate at the top of the interface, which is great. Now let's talk about coloring notes. As you see here, this checklist is blue, this one is blue, and this one is green. And by the way, for those of you who watched the Galaxy Note version, this checklist is a little bit of a clue to a movie that I like. Uh, for breakfast, a character had bacon and beer. I'm not going to say which movie it was, but if you know it, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment below. So, I'll go back here again, and if I want to change the color of this note, I'll tap the little ellipsis. I can change the color to gray, or whatever color I like, and exit the note, and it changes. This will sync across all devices, by the way. So the colors you see here will appear on your phone, and vice versa. Let's talk about sharing now. I can tap on this sun sketch, and if I want to share it with a client, I can tap on the ellipsis, choose collaborators, Enter the name of the person that I want to share this with, and then when I send it, they'll get a notification, they'll join this note, and if they decide to write on their sketch, give me notes, they'll appear right here once it syncs up. So it's a great way to collaborate with people. So now that I talked about checklists, let me go ahead and show you how to make one. I'm going to go over here and tap on these little three lines. This will open up a brand new checklist. And it's ready to go. You can enter a title. 
So we can say books. And you can start to type whatever books you like. So you can say whatever book. I'll go ahead and put Warhammer. Because why not? Warhammer is the best. <laughs> I can tab here to create a new uh, item. Or I can hit return. So I can say uh, Lord of the Rings. So I'll go ahead and just put L-O-T-R for now. Hit return. And I can type as many things as I like. Once I'm done, I go ahead and give it a color and return to the main interface. And there it is. Like everything else, I can share this with someone. You can also use Keep to take photographs of things that you might not remember. For example, the labels of your favorite coffees and teas, your favorite foods, your favorite snacks, or things that you may have tried once or twice, and when you go to the supermarket later on to buy it, you won't exactly remember which one that was, so you can look at the picture. That's what I do all the time. For example, here are some labels of teas and coffees that I took with the camera. And the camera icon is right here. So you create a brand new note, call it foods or drinks or whatever, tap the camera, and you can capture images right in that note. Very handy. And that is how I use Google Keep on my iPad Pro. If this video has been helpful to you in any way, please feel free to give it a thumbs up Subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also follow me on social media so you can see some behind the scenes of me creating new things like books and illustrations. So until next time, take care and peace.